What's up guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an obby and I'm going to be making this a series where I make a full game and you guys are going to be able to follow along and make a full obby yourselves. Without further ado, let's go. So first you want to go to plus and then you want to create a base plane. Now this episode is going to be solely on getting the base of it. So we're going to go to save, set to, save to Roblox. I'm going to call it Untitled Obby, whatever these guys call it, because it um, looks funny. And I don't need to worry about the description. Alright, and we're in. Then we're going to go to game settings, we're going to go to security, we're going to go to enable studios to access games to such as data stores. I'm going to press save. Now I think what I'm going to do is we're going to make three leader stats, stages, kills, or deaths basically, or wins. Um, and I think I can do that by making first a folder inside of workspace. So we're going to add a folder, now we're going to call this folder stages. And inside of the stages, we're going to have a mesh. Now, if you want, you can always just add in a part in it into the stage folder. However, I'm going to be using a mesh. Okay, so now that I have my um, mesh, or whatever this is called, 3D um, mesh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a really red. And I'm going to go into the color and I'm going to make it slightly darker so it doesn't seem like it's a neon. However, I don't really like this, so I'm going to do a color that I know is very consistent. I'm going to do 222, 54, 54. Well, that's going to give us this kind of palish red. I'm going to leave that on the side for now. Um, then we're going to add a script in server script service and we're just going to name this script saving script so if I go to here saving script oh that's not correct saving script perfect now the first code will be in the description and this is the script so what it does is it checks data store services with players and here are our data stores we've got leader stats stage wins and deaths and so now if i test the game if we ignore all the fact that there is no humanoids or anything like that then you can see we do have stage 1, wins and deaths. Now let's make a stage script. We can do this by just going again here, adding a script and naming this script stage script. gonna do is it's going to render our stages and once again the code will be in the description and if we ignore the fact that there's gonna be some errors I think down here you will see that we've got one zero deaths and now just to prove that this is working for anything if I was to duplicate this and turn this into two and then duplicate it again and change the number to three then we get this really cool um, function where if I touch it we get stage two and if I reset and hope yeah if I reset it gives me one death and it loads me on stage two and if I touch this and I reset, 
the stage, uh, it should put me on stage 3. And if I leave the game and rejoin, then you'll see that it spawned us in stage 3 with 1 death and 0 wins, just as in the last time we played it. So now that we have the base information, what we're going to do is we're going to start now by creating a reset GUI. What this is going to do is this is going to make sure that when we die, or not when we die, when we click a reset button, it's going to reset our progress and put us back to stage one. So then, let's do that. First, we're going to go to replicator storage and we're going to create a remote event. Then we're going to rename this reset data. What this is going to do is this is going to just only reset uh, the stages. It's not going to say it's not going to reset the deaths or it's not going to reset the wins. It's only going to be doing the stage. So now go into starter GUI and create a screen GUI. Then you're going to want to name this whatever you want, but for reasons that to explain it better, I'm going to name it reset reset progress. Now once we have this, we're going to add in our own little sounds. However, these sounds are completely optional, but I think I'm going to be making the sound next episode. This episode is going to be solely on just the function. So, first we're going to add a local script. We're going to close the local script for now. Then we're also going to add in a image button or an image text. It really doesn't matter. I plan to add images in the future, so I'm going to put it as an image button. And I'm going to name this prompt button. P O P R O M P T prompt button. And I'm also going to be adding another. And if I just quickly put this over here, and I'm also going to be adding another. However, this one's going to be image label, and this one's going to be called confirm frame and what this is going to do is this is going to be where they get to decide if they actually reset or not so inside of this confirm frame we're going to add in another button image button I'm going to put them over here for now uh, you can't change your color can you? Nope. And I'm not going to call this name no. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to name this yes. Now that I have that, I can add in now. Sorry. <clears throat> Mind my voice. I'm now going to go back into the script. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. I'm now going to have to define multiple sounds, but if you don't have sounds, that's completely fine. I'll leave the two different versions in the description. So, local yes is equal to script.parent.confirmframe.yes local no is equal to script dot parent dot confirm frame dot no now the reason I'm not going to give you guys this one in the, the I'm not just going to copy and paste it is because I want you to understand where you can add your own things so to start this off we're going to do script dot parent dot prompt button dot mouse button one not down one click connect function 
we're gonna just make some space here. We're gonna do if script if script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible equals equals true then yes dot mouse mouse button one click connect function and we're going to open brackets once again function and then we're going to do game dot replicate storage dot reset data uh, dot reset data fire fire server and then script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible equals false then we're gonna go here we're gonna add in another one no that's incorrect yep no no dot mouse button one click connect function can we're going to then do script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible equals false and so what this entire script is basically going to do is it's going to reset our stage data which I have defined here hopefully so now if I was to just make this not visible and I press play as you can see we're on st three stages I'm going to click on this and it's not working let's figure out why oh yes I forgot now I realize now what I've done I thought I've got to actually make a function in subscript service which actually resets the data sorry so we're gonna go to subscript service we're gonna delete that we're gonna go to the script and we're just gonna call this RDS for reset data script and then we're gonna do game dot replicate storage dot reset data dot on event no on server event connect function brackets player close print and then we're gonna put erasing we put dot dot player dot name dot dot brackets s data and what this is just going to do is so that when it resets it will show me whose data has been reset then we can also do player dot leader stats stats dot stages sorry not stage stages dot stage dot value equals one and we're going to do print done okay then so now when I press play um, for some reason it is not opening this I'll figure out why in a second yeah no it's a button you can click um, Oh, sorry. I completely forgot to finish this function. So we're just gonna enter that. I completely forgot to finish this actual function. Sorry. We're gonna do script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible equals not script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible there we go that should solve the issue and so now when I press play if I press this 
it's going to open here and I can't remember if this was the yes or the no so I'm just going to quickly double check by giving this a start and I move away from the stage if we do no then it's not going to reset our stage however if we press yes it is going to reset our stage now a really cool thing that I've been able to do while scripting this is make it so that if I touch it it's going to kill me and put me back here so I cannot cheat however there is an exception to this if you are on stage 2 and you decide to reset your data then it will put you back on stage 2 because it is counting it as your next stage and that is just something Roblox Studio cannot avoid but really does not matter because at the end of the day if you try and get 3 it will kill you and reset you back to 1 And with that, I think that is the reset progress button frame done. Without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.